Hi, welcome again to Unreal Performance Profiling course. In this lesson, we are trying to see how Unreal Engine try to render a frame and why something is wrong or something is slow. So first, let's try to play my game in the standalone mode. Let's go full screen and enable some stats. All right, then let me look at the sky. All right, now I, I literally getting like 90 to 100 frames a second and my millisecond around is something around 10 millisecond, which is quite okay. Then I'm gonna look at the flow. I mean, basically right now it's easy to render, like you need to render some texture and then it's been around 12 millisecond on the GPU and then my, my frame rate drops to 60 or 70 frames a second. So here looking at the sky, I'm getting over 100 frames a second, but here it drops to like 60, 70. So why this is happening? So that's what we're gonna figure it out right now. Before we do that, we need to enable some plugins and install some tools, which is pretty easy to do. Go to edit, plugins, search for render doc. Here we are going to use a tool called render doc. So basically we can inspect what's actually rendering on the GPU using this render doc plugin. So here I have enabled this plugin. So make sure you have click enable and restart your project. And then we need to install the render doc tool into your, your machine. This is only available on Windows and Linux. So you can simply download this and install on your machine. All right, I have already done that, so we can continue. So let's play my game again on the standalone mode. I'm gonna enable some stats again. All right, then let's look at the sky. So then I need to get a profile. So I'm gonna type some command called render doc. All right, then from this menu, there's something called render doc capture frame. I'm gonna enter that. All right, now you can see the frame over here and then I'm gonna double click that. So then it will open this frame for me. And on this left side, there's a clock icon. So I'm gonna click that. So with that, I can see the millisecond number, how, how it time to render. So here actually it's, it's around like six millisecond. Basically that's uh, 6,000 microseconds. You can see over here. All right, everything is listed here on microseconds. And then let's click this texture viewer. So then it's e easy to see what's rendering on the scene step by step. For example, let's expand this scene section or six milliseconds it's spent over there. And here you can see a breakdown of where the time is spent on, all right? And one of the thing you need to uh, think about is base pass. So basically this is the actual, the rendering happens so in the base pass, it's some, something core. Another thing is shadow depth. You can see here, which is quite okay in this case. And here we have the base pass. So basically these two things are the shadow and depth. And also we have some other stuff based on the stuff we had added to the scene. Here we can see that the big number is called the diffuse and indirect AO. The reason is we are using SSGI and it's, it's, it's like costly. So I can expand a little bit and see what's happening. So you can see, so basically this is the output it gets and spend 100 microseconds over there. So basically you can understand why uh, time is spent on SSGI and it makes sense. And if you expand the base path, so basically in the base pass, you can see it rendered the mannequin and some part of the landscape, which makes sense. This is a quite okay trace. Then I'm trying to do is I'm gonna file and save capture. So I'm gonna save this into my desktop. So the idea is later I can open this capture and try to analyze or maybe share with, with some expert user and get some feedback on, on this frame. All right, let, let's capture another frame. So let's look at the flow. You can see it it really drops the frame rate into like 60 or 70 frames a second in that range. And let's capture a frame again. I'm gonna type again, render doc capture frame. All right, then it's launched on my render doc tool. So this is the new frame. I can double click on that. And then I'm enabling this clock icon and I can see the millisecond numbers again. You can see now it increased something around like 11 millisecond. All right, let's expand. So here we have now we can see ambient occlusion a little bit costly in this case. Okay, that's something to note. So then if you go to the base path, it's a little bit costly, but not that much. Then I can expand, go to texture weaver. So it spent some time uh, on rendering the landscape and, and, and that makes sense. And then there's another big number called shadow depth. And that's quite interesting. Like this could be easy, right? You have a single texture to render. So I spend such amount on, on calculating shadow depth. So let's, let's expand. All right, now we have this. Okay, all right. Okay, landscape is fine. Now it's try to like, like calculate shadows from my grass. But in this scene, we don't have grass, like basically it's just the sand. 
So why this is why this is happening? So that's the problem over here. So somehow Unreal try to calculate shadows for the grass in this frame, which doesn't make sense, like because we are looking at the sand. So that's something we need to figure it out. Uh, frankly, I have no idea why this is happening. So this is something for expert user to expert developer to figure it out. So what I can do is I'm gonna file and save this capture. Again, I'm gonna save as B. So now I have two captures, A and B. So then I can send this capture or email or maybe share it on the Unreal Engine forums and try to get feedback why this is happening and how to how, how we can fix this. So yeah, that's the whole idea of this lesson. So basically now we know why something is slow but we don't know how to fix that but at least we know how why this is happening so we can get some help from someone else so that's it for this lesson i hope this is useful see you soon in the next lesson bye